I always say my expectations this season has been way lower than my achievements. So I'll say my expectations are way, 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 way overrated. So I'll just keep it good, keep it simple, do my thing and hope for the best. I'll say it was tremendous because it was an Olympic qualifier, a 1002. A PB, Olympic qualifier, season best, personal, everything. It was crazy. So I'll say it was tremendous. Going, I, going to that meet and get, coming out with a PB and a medal, fantastic. Because that was my first individual, individual race for Nigeria. And I came out with a medal and I'm proud of it. They should train hard, listen to whatever your coach says. Don't you ever complain. Don't you ever complain. I'll say my advice is keep it cool, keep calm, respect your coach. Believe in your coach, keep doing what your coach says, and the sky is only the stepping stone. Good morning. That's our athletes moving up to Doha. It says the sky is only the stepping stone. That is self belief. That's how we welcome you to Super Dance Spot this morning on Super Screen Television. And it's a great one to note that these young men and women who will be representing us right here in Doha are already safe and sound. They've landed this morning. So we'll be showing you clips of what is transpiring right here at the International Airport right here in Doha. But this morning, we'll take a review of the 25 athletes that have been assigned to do us proud right here in the IWF World Championship. And their coaches and some of the key uh, athletes will make known to you. And it's great to know that uh, Nigerian athletes are eyeing $7.5 million at the Doha meet. That's the money that will be shared. But great again is that every athlete that makes a world record will get 100 whooping dollars 100,000 whooping dollars i mean to say and it's a great one we'll be reviewing the number of um, events we're going to participate in it's usually the field and track but i can assure you that we have the talent we have the atlas we have the superstars that can take us to the el dorado we'll talk about the caraba cup this morning surprise surprise tottenham uh, was knocked out yesterday on penalty, so it's minus one for Mauricio Pochettino. And when it comes to trophy, we'll give you the rundown of games that were played yesterday and that which will come up today. My name is Prince Will of Visa. Thanks for joining us this morning on Super Dome Sports. With me is Tayo Lawrence Shola. Tayo, good morning. Good morning. Thanks for having me. Yes, Tayo. Uh, we just quickly saw a clip of our ambassadors, the athletes, living yesterday uh, for Doha. And good enough. They are in Doha right now. And I think it's a good one to note that they are fully prepared physically, spiritually, and mentally. Yes, yeah, a fantastic one. And it's a good news that they finally left Nigeria. And um, there is no negative news. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Unlike we always have uh, their passport, the visa is not ready. So it's a fantastic one. And just like we've had them sp uh, spoken, so they are in top gear, they are in the high spirit. And I'm expecting uh, a huge one. From them, I'm expecting gold galore, silver, bronze, and I, I'm rest assured that these uh, athletes, they are going to make us proud. Mm. Yes, and just yes. like you, you said in the opening that Joe, apart from football, apart from other sports, we have equally different type of sport now. Now we are having canoeing and I'm expecting our boys to do fantastic. I job. quite agree with you. The event will come up on the 27th of September and will round up on the 6th of October. That's the clips of our athletes uh, that got to the high right there at the airport. You've just seen. Tayo, I need to ask you this. Um, we're competing against the best of the best. Uh, Ishakiri did wonderful work, just like, um, um, what's his name now, Oduduru. These are top athletes and blessing of Kagbari. Within the African continent, the South Africans are giving us a run for our money. It's no longer a continental thing. It's a world championship. What's your mark? What's your benchmark? Well, uh, for me, I think my benchmark is uh, for athletes to do, to do us proud at the end of the day. And um, the truth is that these guys, they are always there to give all their best. Even when the monies are not, uh, the fund is not available, you see them giving all their best. But I'm just, I'm just, uh, I'll be imploring the, the sport administrator to do everything possible to ensure that uh, these guys, they get all the allowances that have been accrued to them mm. so that they can do us proud. But for me, 
I am uh, certainly uh, confident that mm -hmm. they will definitely draw us proud. All right. Uh, the phone lines are right on your screen. You can call us and let us also know how you feel. What's your aspiration considering the contingent of the Nigerian athletics that have gone to Doha to represent us at the World Championship? Something quite mouth watering is on the offering. You make a world record, you get $100,000. That is staggering. Let me give you some names of uh, the contingent. They are all stars, but these are names that a lot of people are familiar with. You have Divine Uduru Dudu, uh, you have Raymond Ekewo, Blessing of Kagbare, Emmanuel Aroli, and Ishakiri Urusheteshe, and a host of others. Now, from your own perspective, a, a lot of these athletes have been doing it personally at World Meet. Is this a transformation of the climax we're going to see right now at the World Championship? Yes, uh, just like you said, they've been doing us proud. And Apart from the fact that they represent Nigeria, they've been doing it uh, outside there. I'm expecting them to replicate those forms, those things they've been doing. And then, apart from them, uh, we have fantastic, uh, other fantastic athletes, although they might not be known now. But by the time they kept on doing this, they will get to, uh, to be known. And then, another thing is that We've been hearing uh, blessing of Kabari, Oduduru. So I, I think it's, it's a wake up call mm. for the sport administrator to invest mm. in developmental uh, programs mm. when it comes to sport so that when these guys leave the scene, we can have other ones have representing a, us. A better replacement. I need to ask you this. Uh, I used to know of schoolmates. All of a sudden, it has died down. It's almost going to Dell Drum. What do you think the AFN can do as for athletics in resurging school meets for replacement of people like Blessing and um, Oduduru? Well, for me, I think, uh, just like you said, school meet and uh, not forgetting that sport competition. Uh, even the, the government at all level, the local government, the states. Sorry, I need to cut in here, Tyler. The fun fair in the entire sport competition has died down. I remember when we used to have inter school relays, you see school gearing up to notch out. Um, first or second position because there were good prizes, but all of a sudden, that knack and that drive is no longer there. Well, uh, I think uh, that thing is actually dry, uh, is dying down, just like you said. And then, if you look at our schools now, major, majorly the public schools, yeah. the question is how many of them have good sports facilities? Exactly. They don't exactly. have field, they don't have uh, sports kits, because I, I could remember them back in, the, in those days, they will design a vest for us different colors exactly and different they, houses and mm. we equally do our training ahead of those competitions very so true i think uh those things apart from studying uh reading and writing uh is is one of those good things uh, um, uh, education is very good but we need to inculcate sport there should well. be recreational activities yes because this is one of the things the european countries are doing mm. And uh, it's not as if they don't go to school. They also go to school, but they ensure that from the cradle, they do sport mm -hmm. so that by the time they grow up, they will be able to become an uh, athlete that is competing at the worst stage. Very true, very true. Uh, I must say this with utmost humility. Uh, it was football that took me to Helsinki at the age of 14, playing for the World Youth Championship. And today, I'm proud to say that I am still striving hard to get into that field of sport that's why i talk sports so uh schools out there should create vocational centers field in my school there we had a boxing gym we had a wrestling gym we had a long tennis court these were choices for people to make to go out there and show out their talent but right now these days you just see a small park where cars are parked and that's where it ends so we don't really have all those and that's why you see that it's only football that is trending in yeah, obviously Ordinarily, back then i, I could remember like uh, two of my brothers, they played lawn tennis, they played badminton while they are in secondary school. See? But uh, now we don't get to see all those things It's anymore. difficult. It's Even difficult. to play football now, you see guys, they have to struggle out. They play on the streets. Do you know the funny <laughs> thing? It, a lot of schools even managed to get a Fafa side. Yes. Where in those days we have a full pitch where you could play 11-11 uh, players. Uh, Alright, let me take Ben. Good morning, Ben. Sir. Yeah. Yes, sir. Go ahead, good morning. Okay, so I just want to uh, contribute a lot. Uh, I would thank God that uh, it is good for half the uh, people representing Nigeria to participate in World Championship. Okay. It's good, it's good to. They feel like somebody that is necessary for a start. And you don't remove the community part. So when things are good, when things are being prepared, put in place. So we just pray that as they are representing this great country, Nigeria, 
to do for us and perform. Amen. And it's good as we all know, out of 200 uh, something million people in Nigeria, they are the only people that represent this country. Mm. They are they are part of this country. So let them go there and do the movie. Okay. And represent us well so that as well Nigeria will be a green country. Very true. So we we we, we say good active good active for them. Okay. And uh, they represent us well. Yep. They should not do anything that is not contrary to That's the support of this country. Thank you. Have a nice day and God bless you. And you too, Ben. God bless you. Have a nice day. That's a very commendable and encouraging. And I can assure you that wherever they are, they will get this message. Go out there, do your best, and give it the very utmost best. Something quite unique, Tayo. Uh, $100,000 for anybody who makes a world record. I'm very sure a lot of them will want to go the extra mile. Yes, uh, it's going to be a, a sort of... Uh, uh, encouragement for them and uh, motivation for a lot of them although they might not at the end of the day we might everybody can win, yeah. but it's going to give them sort of uh, that ginger. motivation yes so, and it's, it's a commendable one that mm. if uh, the yeah. IWF, IWF. They, are, they are bringing out this kind of uh, motivation and it's going to be a fantastic one you are and I'm expecting to see Nigeria really <laughs> try to get that. That would be fantastic. It, 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 it's not necessarily money comes in as a motivation. But looking at the fact that up there there's something you need to get, I think is good. Uh, let's talk about the Carabao Cup. Yesterday uh, in England, we have which we used to call Harley Cup. It's not Carabao Cup. We had um, Clutchester United 0, Tottenham uh, 0. But it ended with penalty 4-3. Tottenham has been knocked out. No trophy for now for Pochettino because it's an aspiration towards the trophy. Well, uh, it is quite disappointing that the man has been doing uh, wonderfully well. And uh, just like Liverpool, Tottenham also have been developing under Mauricio Pochettino. Yeah. But it's quite unfortunate. But I'm hoping it will give him a room to actually concentrate more on other competitions. On the FA Cup? The FA Cup, the EPL, the, EPL, the Champions, Champions League. League. Mm -hmm. And All right. hopefully we just see him picking up a trophy at the end of the day. That's a wish for those of us who love Mauricio Pochettino. Arsenal demolished Nottingham Forest 5-0. Preston not end, uh, lost to Man City 3-0. Watford defeated Swansea City 2-1. Sheffield Wednesday lost to Everton 2-0. I think this is a repayback. You know, they lost to them at home. Yeah. Uh, for today's game, we'll be seeing Chelsea taking on Grimsby Town. Manchester United will take on Richard Dole. And um, for Man U Chelsea, it's a way forward to also give their fans a happy mood. Yes, it's a way forward because Manchester United, they lost and Chelsea equally lost. So uh, I'm hoping they will be able to bounce back mm. because the truth is that this team from the championship, they want to give uh, the big uh, The team, team that defeated um, Tottenham is from the fourth year of the uh, EFL. Yes, uh, all these small teams, <laughs> these teams, they want to give the big team, the bigger team, they, they run, run for, for their, their money. money. But I'm hoping because uh, Paul Pogba will be back today. So I'm hoping we'll be able to add a lot of spices. All right, the spices make the soup sweet. That's all Manchester United are looking out for. Let's quickly move to La Liga. As we round off from this show, uh, Barcelona came back on a winning pro. They defeated Villarreal 2 one And Chico is a was quite spectacular in that game. I watched the second half, and I knew that guy is a bluster from the block. Yes, uh, they, they did uh, fantastically. I saw a bit of the second half as well, but... It was just their, their good was not enough. Yeah. So Barcelona, uh, they were able to shock out. The and Messi injury uh, resurfaced again yesterday. Yes, Oof. he was sidelined yesterday. And uh, Ronaldo also was not part of the team. That exactly, in Syria. Ah. Okay, let's still talk about another game. This time it's Real Madrid taking down Osasuna. Do you see Real Madrid uh, getting a win? They've not been doing too well of late. Well, they, um, I'm hoping the boys, they will save uh, Zinedine Zidane. This they, job. Will save, they will save him his <laughs> job and they will do fantastic work tonight. All right, uh, we just hope then when we come back here on Friday as usual in the morning, we'll give you uh, feedback of this result. But this afternoon on Sportsbeat, you'll get to hear more and see more beautiful videos. Tyler, thanks for coming in this morning. Thanks for having All me. right, we're quickly going on this break. When we come back from the break, Olamide will be running up the Superman Shield. Do have a splendid morning.